I, mm, I don't want to start that way. I don't. Okay, let's not. Hello, you bets are joining here. Thank you for joining me and coming and sharing space with me. I just want to say, if you have not yet subscribed, liked, shared, commented, don't forget to do it. Don't forget to do it. If not, I will not be able to share the information and goodness across the YouTube verse in the interweb. Let's talk about something. I spent two months, two months in France and I only got one quota bag. Let's talk about it. This video idea actually came from at Roxa9822. So I'm shouting that individual out because if it was not for the comment, this video would not exist. So I have my notes so that you know I will be reading a little bit so that I am not thrown off subject because we all know I love to talk. Seriously, seriously I do. I, I really love to talk. This is my Hermes truth. I could have gotten two, two quota bags. And that's not even including other bags outside of quota. I could have. So why didn't I? Why did I not get more since I was able to? I mean, two months in France is a long time. And two months is ample time to try the lottery, go in person, do all of the things that people do while they're there. So I decided that I wanted to share with you why I did not do that. Why that was not a choice or even really an option for me. I'm going to start with the rule. So the current rule is that you can realistically only get one bag, one quota bag. In the past, you could have gotten two, and then even further back, you could have gotten as many as was offered to you. But currently, as it stands that I'm aware of, you can only get one quota bag. And I say one based on one account. So because I'm Mary and I have hubs, we both have our own individual accounts. So ultimately, we can get two quota bags. That's one quota bag per account. When you're in France, it's whomever has a passport. So in France, it's based on you entering the information from your passport. So once again, hubs and I could have gotten a quota bag each based on our passport. Now, non-quota bags, I don't really believe there is a limit to it. I guess if you're offered uh, the different non-quota bags, you could just accept them if they're offering them to you. That's, that's my assumption. Two months in France provided, like I said, it provided ample time. So Hubs asked the question one day, randomly, we had just been offered the first quota bag and he was just laughingly saying like, would you accept another one? And I was really surprised that he asked because I was not even considering or thinking about it. But at that point, I told him no. Our goal was not to try to get as many bags as possible. And also, as I've said before, mentioned prior, you know, we saved for the purchases we made while we were there. Anything outside of that would have been extra and I did not even consider beyond that and it would have taken me to sit down and figure it out on my side. For him, I don't think it would have been a big deal. If I said yes, he would have basically went along with it because he was all for it. Like, Hubs was all in. He was not wasting any time when it came to Hermes. He just was not. My, my response was a no. And I know the question is why? Why would I decide not to go after more bags? Outside of what I just shared regarding money, it takes energy. It takes so much energy that you have to put it, listen, it takes so much energy energy. Do you hear me? It takes so much energy to 
do all of it. Like even if you're filling out the form online, you have to have the passports, you have to have the time to do it. You have to have the time and availability to um, go in to, uh, to retrieve the bag. You have to do, it takes a lot. And after going through the process the first time, even with trying online and going in store, I just was like, you know what, I'm, I'm good. I don't want to have to do that again. Maybe next year, but for as far as this year is concerned, no, thank you, I did not. And there were so many other things I had plans and wanted to do. Like we did the champagne tour, we worked on the house, we um, visited with tons of family. That took precedence and everything else just was secondary after I had gotten the first bag. The bottom line, I opted to simply enjoy France and focus on family, friends, and our home. You know, that that was what I was really there for. The bag was icing on a cake because I didn't even think it was possible when we landed, even before going. The other reason, in addition to that, just the actual cost overall, is just because you can afford it, doesn't mean it's a yes and you should. Yes, we could have afforded it, but it was not the right option for me, personally. I just did not feel that investing all in this one trip would be true to who I am because I know that I'll be going back every year. So because I'm going back every year, it gives me more freedom. I'm not in a rush to get another quota bag. I'm just not. Ultimately, my goal was to get a Birkin and I achieved that goal. So once that was done, I was happy. I was like, yes, I did not consider anything else outside of the things like uh, ready to wear and accessories that I just knew would better define my wardrobe. I was just like, yeah, I'm good. I don't feel a need to have anything more than that. And as I said before, I'm not in a rush. Um, my goal, isn't to have a collection. So let me emphasize that. I can see myself outside of non-quota bags having it three or four quota bags, but besides that, I'm good. I want to enjoy what I have. Do you hear me? Listen, every bag I get, I want to carry. I will sleep with that bag if need be. I'm just, that's just me, that's just me. Because I'm not here to collect. I am here to use everything I have. That is my goal and that is what I am doing and will continue to do. Why is any of this important? Well, because I feel it's information and I want to make sure that I'm sharing everything that I possibly can with all of you. And for me personally, I don't want to feel pressure to have to go after or chase a bag. I just don't. I, that's just not who I am. So what I'm opting to do is to take my time and build a rapport with the essay. Not a relationship, I'm just, I will touch on that in my next video, but I definitely want to build a rapport. A mutual, it's like a mutual respect. So this individual can know what, what really interests me and knows my style and my aesthetic. That's the gist of it. I also believe that shopping at Hermes isn't a race. I believe it's a lifestyle. I shop at Hermes and will continue to shop at Hermes, not for simply the quota bags, but because of the quality. I really enjoy the brand. So, yeah, I wanted to make sure I shared that part of my um, trip with you because it was definitely a discussion that was had between Hubs and I. And I wanna make sure that I included you all in it just in case you may be you know, having that same discussion with your significant other or with yourself. I did not feel like I lost out or 
that you know how it's like FOMO, fear of mess missing out. I didn't feel any FOMO um, after we got back. I actually was excited because I know that by getting a bag there and starting the process there in um, France, it allowed me and actually it helped me to better equip myself for the process here in the US. So yeah, thank you for joining me and um, until next time.